politics always play a part in the economy. If you don't believe me, just think about the current government shutdown and what impact it is having on various parts of the economy. Nonpartisan polling firm CrowdPAC analyzed federal campaign contribution records going back to 1980, scoring individual donors on where they fall on the political spectrum based on which candidates they gave money to. According to the CEO and co-founder Steve Hilton, the donation information is the heart of the CrowdPAC data model, since its research shows that campaign contributions are the best predictor of how a candidate will behave in office. As part of its analysis, CrowdPAC was able to break down where various professions fall on the political spectrum. CrowdPAC provided the data to Business Insider. So let's take a look at the following charts and see where you may fall in this spectrum based on your profession. This chart here is the newspapers and print media. Looking at the chart, the left side is the more liberal, that in the blue. The right side in the red is the more conservative, while the centrists are there in the middle, somewhat purple. Now looking at this chart here, who would have guessed that the media is mostly liberal? And here we have another surprise. The entertainment industry is more liberal? Well, there you have Cher, Madonna, Rosie O'Donnell, The View, and Late Night TV. They're on the far left there. And way on the far right, that little small 9C, that's Clint Eastwood. And now, academics and education. From your kindergarten to your PhD, your teachers and professors are mostly liberal. And your online computer services. Think Google, Facebook, Twitter, and maybe even matchmaker.com. If you've been reading about Russian trolls, you may know they're more liberal. Having read several articles about Democrats going after the pharmaceutical industry, this chart surprises me a bit. More liberal than conservative. I would have got that one wrong. I would have expected the legal industry to be a little bit more evenly weighted. Looking at the Supreme Court, it's in reverse. And the tobacco industry. Not too surprising. More conservative. Now, does that mean that smokers are most likely conservative versus liberal? Looking at real estate, maybe there was a surge in conservatism following the election of Donald Trump, eh? And looking at this chart, it appears we have more Henry Potters out there in banking and finance. And looking at our last chart here, lobbyists, I think it's best to end on an even note. For today, that's Chew Dog Charts. Thank you.